Buzz Director and our camera woman has been shot. The investigation continues into the shooting on a Santa Fe movie set that left one dead and another injured. And we have team coverage on what those 911 calls revealed, as well as the background into the crew member who was killed. Good afternoon. I'm Ron Burke. We have learned today the prop gun on the set may have been loaded with a live round instead of a blank. An email obtained by ABC from the local 44 union told members actor Alec Baldwin fired, quote, a single live round that hit two people. Director of Photography Helena Hutchins was airlifted to UNMH from the Bonanza Creek Ranch where Rust is being filmed. She died of her wounds. Director Joe Souza was also rushed to a hospital. He is now recovering. At this time, no charges have been filed. Detectives are continuing the investigation. And we're learning a little more today about what happened on the shooting on that movie set. Action 7's John Cardinale joins us now. And John, you've listened to those 911 calls. Yeah, Ron, I'm currently at Bonanza Creek Ranch where that tragic incident happened yesterday. Now, earlier today, we stopped by the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department. They wouldn't go on camera, but they tell us they're currently executing search warrants here at the ranch. Now, they also say they're questioning cast and crew members and tell us they have no additional information for us at this time. Now, we were able to obtain three 911 calls made yesterday from the ranch. In the first call, you can hear a woman describing what happened. Buzz director and our camera woman has been shot. Are they going to take him to the road? So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. And the 911 call you just heard may shed some light on what exactly happened here yesterday. We'll have much more of that coming up at 5. For now, reporting live in Santa Fe, I'm John Cardinelli for KOAT Action 7 News. Thank you, John. The Sheriff's Department tells us they expect to have more information next week. Now, prop guns are used in many films. Retired APD Commander Paul Syke used such a prop on the movie Terminator Salvation. Arms is one point of contact to get that firearm. Uh, it's given directly to you, and um, there is a question and answer uh, period that goes on when it comes to, you know, what do you have on you? Do you have any, you know, do, what do you have in your pockets? Things of that nature. When asked how a live round could be put in a prop gun, he says it's not likely, but that it could happen if someone was loading a gun in the dark or in a hurry. Now, Russ is the story of a 13-year-old boy left to fend for himself and his younger brother after the death of their parents. It is set in the late 1800s in Kansas. The production's New Mexico representation includes 75 crew members, 22 principal actors, and 230 extras. Friends and family of Helena Hutchins, meanwhile, are now mourning her death after the cinematographer was killed on set. Action 7 News reporter Brianna Albizu spoke to a friend on who she was as a filmmaker and as a person. Brianna? Ron, like many, Adam Egypt Mortimer is at a loss for words over the death of his friend. He says he's known Helena for years, meeting at a film festival in Spain. They even worked together on a science fiction movie. With her bright personality and love for film, Mortimer says it was a collaboration he could have only dreamed of and that her inspiration was unparalleled. She just had this like incredible sense of integrity and of like she she had this great talent for making beautiful images and communicating emotion through her pictures. And she was not going to let anything um, sort of blunt that talent. Mortimer says he found out about her death from a mutual friend yesterday and that since then he's been in complete shock. He adds her loss is a big one within the film community and that he is desperate to know what exactly happened. Ron. Brianna, thank you. Helena was just 42 years old and we'll have more on this shooting investigation coming up in our next half hour.